Guys, um, <clears throat> you guys know Deshaun Watson. He's been signed to over $230 million guaranteed by the Cleveland Browns. But Deshaun Watson is facing multiple charges and allegations concerning his behavior with women who were hired to be his massage therapists. Many of these women had to sign what's called a non-disclosure agreement because he is a famous person. He was the quarterback in Houston, I believe. Right now he's in Cleveland. He hasn't been able to play. The NFL has to make decisions about him, whether they're going to uh, suspend him or not. But he reminds me of uh, the case of O.J. Simpson, who is worse because O.J. Simpson supposedly killed his wife and uh, another young person. But there's also a case you may not remember. From way back, almost like 40 years ago, Cesar Cedeno. Remember him? Cesar Cedeno? He used to play for Houston also, the Astros. And he killed his girlfriend, his mistress, down in DR, in Dominican Republic. I know this because I'm Dominican. Okay, I remember this clearly. And he, when he came into the league, they compared him to Willie Mays because he was doing Willie Mays kind of thing, stealing over 50 bases, 55, 56, hitting 300, 320, hitting home runs. This guy was, a, was like a Mike Trout today, like that kind of guy, yo. But then after he killed that girl, injuries, and what a lot of people think was his conscience, it bothered him that he killed that girl. That was his girlfriend, man. He loved that girl. He was showing off his gun, playing with it. And I'm going to tell you this. I've been in situations in Dominican Republic where people started waving around their guns around women. Three guys, and you sitting there, and they all start taking out 38s, 357s, 45s, and showing it all, and, and, and doing the clips and all this nonsense. I swear to God, I've been in that situation. So I believe that what he did, he did, all right? And the gun went off, and she was killed. His career was derailed. Deshaun Watson got a bunch of women claiming he did this one thing and a third, and I don't know, you know, he likes to have... Whatever it is he, he, he enjoys sexually, he's a young man with a lot of money. But now they're claiming the team, the Houston football team, that they are also responsible for his behavior. I mean, that's a stretch. You know what I mean? He's got money. These young women know they're massage therapists. They may be professionals. But when you're dealing with star athletes, don't tell me power does not corrupt. Money is the root of all evil. So don't tell me that the power dynamics don't have something to do with this. Want to be close to a powerful person? Want to get to know him? Hopefully it's, uh, ho hopefully start a personal relationship? Look where they got Nicole Brown Simpson at the hands of OJ. Power goes to people's heads. Okay. It does. Deshaun Watson, come on, 22 women claiming you did something wrong to? Bruh, get married. Find yourself a wife. You know, somebody you love completely. And stop doing this little dwaddle kind of nonsense, man. Playing around with young women. I mean, really. And you want to pay them supposedly $100,000 each. Now, if you did nothing wrong, why are you offering them $100,000. Power, money, again, what I talked about earlier in my other video on YouTube, the dynamics of money, how people will do anything in order to get it. Kiss, kiss butts, allow things to happen to them, all kinds of weird things that you would think, nah, you making that up. Nah, bro, nobody got to make nothing up. Remember, truth. It's stranger than fiction. You know that it's true. There's nothing I can make up in my head. You can make up in your head. That's crazier than the real things that have happened 
in real life. Truth. Facts. A stranger living fiction all the time. Don't you forget it.